So hi everyone, today we have a special guest on the channel. We have Garvit with us. So Garvit, would you like to introduce yourself to the viewers? Uh, yeah, uh, thanks Ashish for uh, inviting me for this podcast. Uh, yeah, hi everyone. My name is Garvit Rajput and I'm currently working as a software engineer at Amazon. Previously worked at Moengage for one, one and a half year. And apart from that, I am uh, you know, very active in creating content on LinkedIn with more than uh, 95,000 of uh, following. Yep. Right, and we'll give his LinkedIn in the description. You can follow him from there. He creates some amazing content on there. And like you mentioned, apart from that, he's a software engineer at Amazon, a product-based company. So we'll be getting to know his journey, how he prepared, how he cracked Amazon. And in general, we'll be getting to know how to become a software engineer at a product-based company. So Garvit, would you like to start us off with your interview experience at Amazon? Like what all did it take to crack Amazon basically? Uh, yeah, so as uh, uh, you know, other com- as compared to other company, uh, Amazon purely focused on DSA part. Like if you are having two to three uh, technical interview, so you can expect 95 to 99 percent of DSA and some sort of project discussion. Specifically to my interview, I think I was asked uh, two medium questions. One was based on DP and the another one was based on uh, I think heap and linked list. I didn't remember the exact question, but yeah, these were the two uh, data structures that I was asked. Mm-hmm. Right, right. So like you said, you know, majority of the interview revolved around DSA. Yeah. And we see that case for other product based companies also, the top key companies or they we see they ask a lot of DSA. So let's talk about DSA starting off because people love DSA, you know. So how did you prepare DSA, you know, because it takes a lot of time and many people get confused on this point, they're not able to improve in DSA. So what was your DSA preparation like? I think my DSA preparation started in uh, the third year, uh, even semester, sixth semester. And uh, I uh, started DSA with the, you know, uh, with some uh, YouTube videos, some sort mm-hmm. of channels. And for constantly four to five months, I practiced DSA, just like leaving everything apart, uh, projects, core subjects and everything. And within four to five months, I was able to solve around 1000 to 1200 plus questions. Yeah. And I think that brought me uh, three offers, mm. one from Amazon, one from Moengage and another one from uh, ZS Associate. I think mm-hmm. it is based out of Pune. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, right, right, right. Uh, yeah, I think and the second most thing, uh, second important thing while preparing for DSA is uh, like there are three categories, easy, medium mm-hmm. and difficult. So I decided to switch from one category to another once I feel comfortable in solving mm-hmm. questions in the particular category. So th- I think that that's the uh, uh, most important part uh, in my DSA journey. Yeah. And yeah. Mm-hmm. So like, can you define what comfortable was for you? Like, ki, was there a particular time limit? Ki das minute ke ho raha hai, then you're comfortable. Ya fir, you know, because a lot of people get confused in this. You know, there's a problem nahi ho raha hai, to ya kitna time dena chahiye problem mein. A lot of people get confused solving problems individually. So how was it for you? I think uh, <coughs> time is very specific to mm-hmm. person. If you are starting yeah. out, don't bound yourself to mm-hmm. you know, certain time yes. limits. But so, once you start feeling comfortable with the uh, data structures, at least theory part, mm-hmm. you can give 10 to 20 minutes to easy question, mm-hmm. uh, including implementation, 30 to 35 minutes for the medium question mm-hmm. and target 40 to 45 minutes for the hard question. Mm-hmm. Hi everyone, I hope you're really enjoying the video with Garvit about his journey to cracking Amazon. And let me tell you, if you also want to crack a company like Amazon, Google, Microsoft and all of the top product based company, then the biggest hurdle you might be facing is getting the interview call itself. Especially if you're from a tier 3 college, it is very difficult to get hold of opportunities and it is very difficult to get interview call. Which is why TopMate has made it extremely easy for you to get a referral. All you need to do is go to the link in the description, click on it, it will redirect you to TopMate's page. On there, whatever company you want, you can connect with the people who are working in those company and get a referral from them completely free of cost. So this is a sure shot way of getting a referral in your dream company, whatever it may be. So what are you waiting for? Don't wait any longer. Go to the link in the description, click on it and get your dream company's referral right now. And yeah, start applying. And now let's get back to the video. In most of the interviews, uh, you'll find that an interview 
interviewer will ask you two medium questions hmm. in an hour. Yes. So 30 to 35 minutes for a medium question uh, would be the, uh, I think, the sufficient time. Hmm. I think if you're able to solve a medium problem within 30 minutes, to most of the companies will be able to crack the issue. Yes. So, do you specific resource that you follow? Do you follow sheets mentioned, posters mentioned? Do you follow any other resources or random solve? I think I have solved randomly but uh -huh. very strategically. Uh -huh. Strategically means I have listed down all the data structure. Uh -huh. In the, I would say, uh, like uh, for if example, uh, I am solving a uh -huh. DP, uh -huh. uh, like I need to start with a DP. Uh -huh. So the prerequisite is recursion. So yes. in that order, I listed down all the data structures uh -huh. and uh, picked the, uh, you know, random questions from lead code, uh -huh. GFG. I have solved code chef, code, code forces uh -huh. as well, not for the rating per, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, point yes. of view. But I have solved question there as well. Mm. And for resources, I think at my during my preparation time there was a channel called Pep Coding. Yeah. I think I followed uh, that. Mm. That was a I mean uh, they do have a sheet and that contains a good uh, uh, DSA questions. Mm -hmm. Exactly, and I think if you're a beginner, you don't need to jump into a sheet. You know, as a beginner, random solving is more of a friend than a sheet. A sheet might be too much of a thing. So you write at the beginning, uh, right? Yes. Plus, in the sheet, mein, uh, hota hai ki you are given a questions from a certain data hmm. structure, like array ke yes, yes. So that brings your you know, uh, thinking perspective, that narrows your hmm. thinking, thinking perspective. Okay, this question is belo uh, belongs to array. It's like you know before only. The yes, yes. Problem. Uh, and anyhow, you have to prepare for an hmm. interview, so you have to sort, uh, hmm. solve mixed questions. So, and uh, what about contests, you know, because we discussed that contests also play a lot of roles. So you regular at contests? Uh, or how yes. So for, so I have given a uh, contest just for the, just for clearing the OA uh, mm, round. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. And I have followed two platform lead code yeah. and another one was at coder. Mm -hmm. I was inconsistent on code chef and code forces, but very consistent on lead code and at coder. Mm -hmm. Right, right, right. And I think AdCoder is very good if you are a beginner for implementation based problems, you know, if you are having difficulty in solving lead code problem, start with CodeChef or start with AdCoder. It will be a bit easier for you, right? Yes, yes. And bina contest ke toh nahi hone wala. <laughs> yes, unless definitely. you get lucky, bina contest. Or unless you are having a, a, friend, who is, a friend who is good in CP. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uske bina nahi hone wala. And that is something we don't suggest, you know, being dependent on someone. So contest to aapko dena hi dena hai. Right, so we talked a lot about DSA. What about the other aspects? Ki, hai, Amazon and other companies don't focus that much on DSA, but 10% kahin kahin system design, CS fundamentals, thoda bahut ye sab cheez bhi aata hai, right? So, uske liye apne kaise kuch follow kya uh, Yes, so that brings me to Moengage interview. So, Moengage yeah. is a medium sized startup. So, mm -hmm. I think it was totally opposite to Amazon interview. <laughs> they asked 10% of DSA and 90% of <laughs> Discussion happens on projects only. Oh, nice. Projects and uh, database, core mm -hmm. subject. So for core subject, so I used to make notes like whatever mm -hmm. uh, I go through mm -hmm. the core subjects uh, topics. I used to make notes and I try to revise them bi weekly. Mm -hmm. So uh, suppose for operating system, I have three to four pages mm -hmm. of notes. So I try to revise them bi weekly plus. Uh, it can go through top 50 or top 100 uh, core subjects, uh, DFG interview, interview yes. questions. I think that would be sufficient, at least for a pressure. Correct, correct, correct. Yeah, so like you mentioned, ki, because like you mentioned, you know, so I would also like to point out that startups ask a lot of development. Oh, startups are yes. not really focus on DSA, like you mentioned, yes. but development is strong, on ke, which is yes. good for people who don't like DSA or are not good in DSA. Yes. yes. So because you cracked a startup also, how was your development like? What kind of project did you make? What kind of tech stacks did you choose? Yes, so I was having two projects. Mm -hmm. uh, one was in uh, this uh, Mern stack mm -hmm. uh, with React and backend Node.js and database MongoDB. And another one was a completely, I think, front end project mm -hmm. with some voice recognition, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, mm -hmm. uh, library uh, uses, uses of voice recognition library. So when during my Moengage interview, they asked me to, you know, uh, just open your code base, mm -hmm. uh, develop like project code base, explain how things are working. Mm -hmm. And mostly focus was on, uh, you know, uh, the reason why I have chosen mm -hmm. MongoDB yeah. or other database. Yes. So I think project part is, I think, uh, not that difficult as compared to DSA. You can make uh, two to three projects like yeah. 
prior to dsa preparation mm-hmm. like you can have uh, you can create two to three projects in your second year third year and then keep them aside keep revising them or make notes of them like what uh, if like if someone ask you explain the project keep uh, notes handy revise them before an interview and i think that should be sufficient ha uh, right and i think projects are like you mentioned right bit easier than dsa agar aapko khud se nahi bhi banana hai aap koi course wagera bhi le sakte ho मतलब प्रोजेक्ट आप छाप भी सकते हो बेसिकली सो टू स्पीक बट थोड़ा यूनिक फीचर्स अपना ऐड कर देना एंड कोड बेस के थ्रू इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट यू नो एवरीथिंग बिकॉज लाइक ही साइड यू नो मेनी टाइम्स इट हैपेंस कि दे आस्क यू टू एक्सप्लेन द कोड एंड अगर आपने पूरा कॉपी किया यू विल नॉट बी एबल टू एक्सप्लेन द कोड राइट एंड आई आई मीन आई ओन नेम द कंपनी बट देयर इज अ कंपनी दैट रिजेक्टेड मी इन देयर प्रोजेक्ट डिस्कशन राउंड ऑल्दो आई हैव क्लियर थ्री डीएसए टेक्निकल राउंड सो या आई मीन प्रोजेक्ट इज आल्सो एवरीथिंग इज इंपॉर्टेंट इट जस्ट Uh, varies from company to company, and uh, the percentage varies hmm. from company to company. Correct, correct, correct. So ignore, कुछ भी नहीं करना आपको. You know, we will yes. not suggest to ignore anything. Just give proper time to everything, and 100% percent you'll be able to go. So I think after DSA, system design development, and all, like all things, important होती है, which people don't talk about much. You know, people focus on technical things, but like all things, which people don't talk about, is the communication part. You know, so even you would have experience in your multiple interviews. Key. If your communication skills are good, sometimes interview up, interview up, help you get it, and it it just becomes easier for you, right? Yes. So, how would you suggest if anyone comes to you, you know, if anyone is going for an interview, how would you suggest to work on the communication skills or improve communication skills? Okay, I think uh, there are certain ways. So, the foremost is the uh, like practice mm-hmm. interviews as much as possible, right. mock interviews. You can take help from your friends. Your uh, I mean, if you are a working professional trying to switch yeah. in another company. can take uh, help from your uh, colleagues mm-hmm. or maybe there i think there are a lot of platforms mm-hmm. nowadays including top mate and where you can schedule an interview and the second thing like whenever you are solving a problem let's say you are solving a dsa problem mm-hmm. uh you can like after solving just go through the code mm-hmm. and try to explain that code to yourself yeah, so exactly. once you get into that habit mm-hmm. i think uh, till the time you appear for an interview you will be habitual of it and everything mm. right right and speaking of top mate will also link his top mate in the description so if you want help from him personally or personal guidance from him then you can connect with him one to one on top mate the link will be in the description the linkedin will also be in the description right so let's say once people have all these skills communication skill dsa etc sab kuch ho gaya unka the next problem that comes to a majority of tsc students is finding the opportunity दे समाइम्स गेट कन्फ्यूज की रेज्यूमे को कैसे ऑप्टिमाइज करना है अप्लाई कैसे करना है अपॉर्चुनिटीज कैसे ढूंढनी है बिकॉज अ लॉट ऑफ देम आर नॉट एबल टू गेट द अपॉर्चुनिटी डिस्पाइट ऑफ बींग रेडी फॉर दम राइट सो वट यू लाइक टू टॉक अबाउट दैट हाउ डिड यू गेट अपॉर्चुनिटीज और हाउ एनी वन एल्स कैन ओके सो आई ट्राई टू रेजोनेटेड विद माई जर्नी सो कमिंग टू मोइंग एज सो आई थिंक देर वॉज अ कॉन्टेस्ट ऑन कोर्ट शेफ और जी एफ जी uh so i uh, registered for that contest and i think my rank was under 100 mm-hmm. so recruiters reached out to me for an interview so that's where i got an opportunity from moingis uh zs is again on campus mm-hmm. and uh, for other companies uh, like uh, intuit i have given a interview for uh, this d show oracle so mm-hmm. these are the opportunities uh, that i got from linkedin so basically you have like on linkedin you can showcase your mm-hmm. skills achievements and when your profile is very active and you are you know actively sharing your learnings and everything mm-hmm. so recruiters it there are high chances that recruiters will reach out to you the another platform that works for me or that has uh, given me more than you know 5 to 6 interview opportunities is insta hire mm-hmm. i really love that platform and i think uh, although currently i am in amazon but i think uh daily i receive like i get a notification that someone from amazon is if you your profile so i think insta hire will uh, definitely help mm-hmm. yeah. right right so any other platforms you use or linkedin insta uh, linkedin insta hire uh there are certain companies that has to contest mm-hmm. and the third is like you can go for nokri mm, yeah, yeah, yeah yeah i think these three websites are the most commonly used websites and right? I think LinkedIn people are underutilizing LinkedIn. You can use it a lot more, building connections, applying, and all. And uh, right now, I think Topmeet also has a feature where you can get referral by posting the job ID on there. All right. So I think extensively we talked about pretty much everything, right? You know, the, like referrals, how to get opportunities, DSA skills, everything. So on a final note, to all of the people who are watching this video, let's say TSE students, people who want to switch, people who want to get a good job, like you know, like you have. 
so what advice and tips would you like to give to them yeah so one uh, tip or advice would be to never stop applying uh, for example when i was working in mowing age although i was you know having mm -hmm. a decent pay there but uh, yeah i never stopped applying and that brings me an opportunity to interview interview with uh, d show and many other companies so that also uh, brings some interview experience so i think yeah uh, never stop applying and second is uh, if you are you know getting rejected again and again maybe in you know resume shortlisting maybe in oa round or maybe in technical interview try to work on your you know uh, weaknesses mm -hmm. rather than you know uh, giving up after you know certain number of uh, rejections and the third thing would be ki, uh, if you are a fresher you know uh, coming out of a college so don't try to you know switch three four companies in a year or two years don't try to hope from one company to another company until unless you have like you know financial uh, issues and you uh, want a good pay difference uh, work at a you know a particular company for one one and a half year two years and then you know gain some experience work on a small uh, you know large project gain some experience and go to the you know dream company or maybe be a right 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 okay so i think we have covered pretty much everything about you know garvit's journey and everything about how you can become a software engineer so thanks a lot garvit for coming yeah. on the podcast and sharing your journey i hope it will help a lot of students so thank yeah. you thanks